Alright, today I am doing an unboxing of the Triton Devastator headset. It is uh, 70 bucks at GameStop. Uh, cost me 65 because I had a $10 off coupon. Exacto knife today, no butterfly knife because it's about five feet behind me and I don't feel like getting up. So I decided to get these instead of a Turtle Beach because my buddy has the uh, Turtle Beach Fox Traps and I just didn't want to have the same headset as him. So I thought we'd try these out. Alright, let's see. 50 millimeter speakers, uh, SVM, which is the stupid voice monitoring crap, it's obnoxious. Works with an MP3 player in your phone. Adapter included. Once again, nice pretty box. So, here we go. Doot, doot, doot. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, oh yeah. What do we got here? Got the instruction manual. Got their little stop, fill out your warranty. Alright, from what I've heard, a lot of these have mic problems, but apparently Mad Cats is really on top of replacing the mics without charging anything, so. I thought I'd give them a shot. I've actually had really good track record with Mad Catch products. So, stop, read your setup. Mad Cat that shows you all the crap that they make. Oh, apparently they own Eclipse as well. I did not know that. What we got here? Quick Start Guide and Product Manual. Well, that's it for the crappy stuff that nobody has ever read in the history of ever. Interesting casing right here. It's strong, good packaging. Uh, I would not mind if it actually shipped in this. This seems pretty protected. And we'll see how we get up. Oh, it has all the cords and a little box on the back. So I'm going to open that before trying to take it out. Okay. Um. Wow. Okay, this is interesting. This actually has snaps on the box because the wires are actually run through all the holes. That is way cool. Yeah, I would not mind if it actually shipped in this packaging, which I usually have a problem with. So, let's take this off. Tells you volume up, volume down, game mode, whatever. Don't really care about that. Okay. This is actually strapped in as well. Oof. Well, I guess you don't have to worry about somebody standing in the store and stealing this, because this is in there very well. Okay. Get that out. And this out. Okay. So, we've got the headset with the turning earpieces, which is always nice. And uh, it has this little clip right here. Pretty much useless on a cord like this. And it ends in the normal headphone jack. Okay. Now let's see. Um, right and left. Right and left. Which one is which? Okay, it doesn't say so. Okay. Open them up a bit. There we go. Alright. Wow, these are good sound canceling. Your ears will flow into them. Heavy headset. Really heavy headset. Probably the heaviest I've actually owned so far. Very nice, shiny, 
matte black here, shiny all here, matte all up here, Triton logo, Triton logo and the name. Nice orange insides, which is amusing. This is very nice and squishy. Uh, doesn't really feel like the faux leather. Faux means fake, by the way. Um, doesn't feel like faux leather, but it's nice and squishy. Pops right back out again. Okay, they actually tilt, so that'll adjust. And up here, they have... Ooh, nice rubberized padding. It could be glued better. I don't know if it'll show that, but it's, you can actually get inside there. I don't care for that, but nice, nice rubberized padding. It will not obviously slip if you're wearing a hat or something, one of those gay little beanies. Padding's pretty nice in there. Got the microphone. Flexible. Would have preferred it more like segmented and texturized, but can't go wrong with hard plastic unless it snaps in half, right? Plug this in. Let's see. Alright, so with that. Not bad, not bad. Um, hmm. Yep, except for it's meant to sit the other way. Like this, yeah. <laughs> Alright, yeah, so. Heavy, it'll take some getting used to. You can actually wear it either way, I suppose. But, uh. Well, depending on how good the mic pickup is, you can wear it either way. I'll take this out for now if I can. There we go. All right, we got the cables. Got a lot of cables. Let's see what these are. This just looks like the inline controller and uh, RCA and USB. Okay. Let's see. Are these separate cables? Yes or no? Okay, these are not separate cables. Here is the inline controller. Um, this looks like a game mute, or a vo just volume, turning it off. This one here is mic mute right here. And this is for the sound voice monitoring. Sound, I don't know what it is, the SVM, the mic monitoring, right there. On this side you have headset and game controller. And down here you have one plug and up here you have another plug. So let's see. That's one end. The other end has these thin wires. Kind of annoying going from nice thick protected to thin, but the USB. Plug that into your Xbox for the power. And the RCA stereo sound, you plug these in, and then you plug other things right here. You plug these in to your TV, okay? Your sound cables go into here. If you're using HDMI, at least on Turtle Beach, you can just plug these in, and the sound will come out of your headset and your TV. So, just for the record, you can do it that way. You don't need adapters, at least with the Turtle Beach. I'm not gonna, I don't know yet, I haven't tried it on mine, so with this we'll see. But it does, Triton does give you an adapter. Uh, you plug this in, and then you plug these in, and you plug them into here. And there you go, you can use it with HDMI, uh, which is nice because then I don't have to have it coming through my TV, but both are options. For example, if somebody else is playing with you and you really, if somebody else is in the room and they're watching you play, they want to be able to hear what's going on too, but you want to have your sound pouring capabilities. Okay. And then there's this, the microphone. Okay, or not the microphone, um, 
This is for Xbox to... Wow. This is for the controller to your headset inline adapter. So you would plug it into here, right here, with this other cable and this end. Plug into your adapter. And there you go. Plug into your controller. I do not really care for these. They break way too easily, but what you're going to do? And that is everything. I will do a full review on it about a week from now after I've used it a bunch.